Hi, I am Dr. Sophia, Consultant Fertility Specialist at Cloud9 Electronic City. Mini IVF, if we have to know, the other name is uh, low dose stimulation IVF or low stim IVF. So, what we do in, is something called as we have conventional IVF where we uh, give a routine dose of higher dose of injections and then we retrieve the eggs. Then we have another call as mini IVF or low stimulation IVF wherein we give low dosage of injections, hormonal injections or we give tablets and uh, hormonal injections so that the number of eggs retrieved are not so much like a conventional IVF but we have seen that when we use such low stimulation IVF or mini IVF the egg quality is better than the conventional IVF. So when do we use a mini IVF is if a patient has had poor quality eggs with conventional IVF where we have used the normal dosage of injections or the higher dosage of injections and egg quality was not so good. Next cycle we may plan for a mini IVF wherein we give a combination of tablets as well as hormonal injections in the form of gonadotropins and also in another set of patients where we plan for something called as embryo pooling wherein if the patient has low number of eggs then we remove one set of embryos, freeze them and remove another set of embryos. So when we plan for embryo pooling we can go for something called as mini IVF or low stimulation IVF. The advantage of mini IVF is cost wise it is definitely cheaper than the conventional IVF because the number of injections required are less. Secondly. Uh, because the number of injections given are less, the number of eggs which are grown are not so much. So we can even plan for something called as fresh transfer. So if the patient is undergoing fresh transfer, the cost for freezing and all will be saved. But a disadvantage of mini IVF is that the number of eggs retrieved are not so higher as compared to a conventional IVF. So we can expect lesser number of eggs when we do a mini IVF.